Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Romanian district mathematical Olympiad for 9th graders 2022 problem number 3. We wish to find all integers x such that 3 to the power of x equals x plus 2, this is actually part a of our problem, and part b, we, find, we wish to find all integers x and y for which x plus 3 to the power of y and y plus 3 to the power of x are two consecutive integers. Here are my hints for this problem. For part A, notice that for negative integers, well, 3 to the power of x is not an integer. And for positive integer, notice that 3 to the power of x grows much, much faster than x plus 2. And you may wish to either to differentiate this equation or to use induction and show that, well, there are not so many solutions. And for part B, note that, well, since these two numbers are supposed to be consecutive integers, x cannot be equal y, you may assume without loss of generality that x is greater than 1, and I suggest that you write x equals y plus m for some positive integer m, and work from there. So give this problem a try. Alright, so let's start with part A. Well, note first that if if x is a negative integer, well then uh, 3 to the power of x is of course not an integer, while x plus 2 still is. So we have no solutions. No solutions. In this case. Let's also check what happens when x equals 0. If x equals 0, then 3 to the power of x is 1, while x plus 2 is, uh, is what? Is 2. So again, not a solution. If x equals 1, then 3 to the power of x equals 3, and x plus 2 equals 3 as well, so we have found a, a solution. And now we will show that if Maybe I will write it is my claim. Claim that for every x positive integer x integer x which is greater than or equal to 3 to the power of x is already much greater than x plus 2, and I will prove it by induction. Proof by induction. Notice that 3 to the second power is 9, and 9 is greater than x 2 plus 2, much greater than 2 plus 2. Alright? Which is 4 by 5. Alright? Now suppose, suppose that 3 to the power of x is greater than x plus 2, or some x greater than or equal to 2. Notice that then, we have the following, 3 to the power x plus 1, it's 3 times 3 to the power of x, it's greater than 3x plus 2, uh, and notice that this is of course greater than x plus 3, because here we have 3x, here we have plus 1x, and here we have plus 6, and here we have plus 3. So it closes our inductive proof. So, it means that um, for any integer x, 3 to the power of x equals x plus 2, if and only if x equals 1. It's the only solution. Alright, now let's tackle part b. For part b, notice that 3 to the power of x plus y, or maybe x plus 3 to the power of y and y plus 3 to the power of x should be 2 consecutive integers. Well, this already implies that both x and y must be natural numbers. Both x and y must be 
uh, must be integers uh, greater must be greater than or equal to zero. Let's write it, write it like that. Why is that? You may ask. Once again, if for example, if y would be uh, less than zero, then this is a fraction. A fraction plus an integer is not an integer. All right. So now notice also that if of course, if x equals y, then x plus 3 to the power of y equals y plus 3 to the power of x. So they are not two consecutive integers, they are the same integer. Now, let's assume, assume now that x is strictly greater than y, and y is of course greater than or equal to 0. Then we can write we can write that, uh, what happens? Uh, that x equals y plus m for some positive integer m. All right. And now le let's rewrite our condition because our condition says that either uh, y plus 3 to the power of x equals x plus 3 to the power of y plus 1, or it is the other way around. So x plus 3 to the power of y equals y plus 3 to the power of x plus 1. And let's rewrite these equations, but in terms of x equals y plus m. So this is the case, or y plus m plus 3 to the power of y equals y plus 3 to the power of y plus m plus 1. Or this is the case. And now let's simplify it. We can write it now that 3y 3 to the power of m minus 1 equals m plus 1. Or, second possibility, or mm, m minus 1 equals 3 to the power of y, 3 to the power of m minus 1. All right. So 3 to the power of y equals m plus 1, 3 to the power of m minus 1, or 3 to the power of y equals m minus 1, 3 to the power of m minus 1. So we have these two possibilities. Now let's investigate them separately. Notice that if Let's consider if m equals 1, what happens? If m equals 1, then in the first case we have 3 to the power of y equals 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 over 2 is 1, so y equals 0. On the other hand, in the second case, 3 to the power of y equals 0, which has no solutions. No solutions. And now let's consider m greater than or equal to. Then let's note the following. By my claim, which I have proved a minute ago, then 3 to the power of m is strictly greater than m plus 2. So, so m plus 1 over 3 to the power of m minus 1 is less than 1. It is less than 1, and of course, m minus 1, 3 to the power of m minus 1, which has even less, the numerator is even less, then we have this inequality as well. So, 3 to the power of y, in both cases, should be less than 1, but it is impossible, since we, have cons we are considering only y, which are positive, uh, non-negative integers. Contrary to the fact that y is greater than or equal to zero. So no solutions here. So all in all, we have found only one solution. y equals zero, m equals one, of course, maybe let's write it. If m equals 1, y equals 0, x equals 1 as well.
And of course, we can change these two numbers. So we have either x equals 1, y equals 0, or the other way around. So x plus 3 to the power of y and y plus 3 to the power of x are two consecutive integers. Uh, if and only if if and only if either x is 1 and y is 0 or x equals 0 y equals 1 and that closes our problem we have found all these numbers it was a very simple problem but again it was given to ninth graders so be considerate uh, thank you very much for watching i hope that you've learned something new this time and i will see you next time goodbye